Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Royal Caribbean webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 35 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we will get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Lori Vaughn. Lori is Royal Caribbean, Royal Caribbean International's Associate Vice President of National Accounts. As part of the industry's largest sales organization, she oversees trade association partnerships and the cruise lines relationships with North America's top travel advisors, agencies, and networks. Lori and her team manage the sales and marketing initiatives of these accounts, driving an original approach to achieving success. And as an extra bonus with us today, joining Lori, we have Brittany Yoakum and Alexis Rodriguez. So when you guys are ready, take it away. Gosh, Anna, thank you so much for that great intro. And y'all, I hope you are ready for an exciting, packed uh, webcast of a lot of great information of what's new at Royal. And I have Brittany and Alexis here. Alexis is our newest team member, and Brittany is here. They're here to support and uh, answer questions as they may come up. But before we waste any more time, let's dive right into our agenda and talking about what's new at Royal. And we are celebrating a very special year this year. We are not 50 years old. We actually like to think of ourselves as 50 years old. And we have had an amazing number of years. And uh, let's see if I can get my slides. There we go. But before I dive into any of that, I just wanted to take a brief moment to remind you all about Hurricane Dorian and the recovery campaign. Now, it's really, you all pay a really important play, a really important role in this right now, because I do believe there's many consumers out there and many of our travelers that think the Bahamas is completely gone. They don't understand that the Bahamas is a chain of many, many islands, and that just two of those islands uh, were affected by the hurricane. And I really want to challenge you all to be bold, be big, and really share this, the message that the Bahamas is open for business, that Perfect Day at Coco Cay, our private island experience, is up and running and has not been damaged, and, and mostly just to let them know that by them supporting the Bahamas and visiting, they, of course, will help the recovery process even more. Royal has made a huge commitment financially and sending our ships to the islands to provide food and services and rescue missions. And we want you to play your part, which is to continue to sell the Bahamas proudly. And of course, we prefer you to sell Royal Caribbean and have those clients visit the Bahamas on our beautiful ship. So let's dive back into what I like to call the first 10 years of our last uh, 50 years. And it was quite a time in the industry. You see here shown the Port of Miami it doesn't look quite the same today. We had, of course, the Sala Norway, Nordic Prince, and, Viking, and Sun Viking. And we have come a long way when you fast forward to the last 10 years, which we call our adventure decade. And you know, we have so many firsts at sea and only on Royal Caribbean, things like the Bionic Bar, of course, the Flow Rider, North Star, uh, our Loft Suites, and Aqua Theater, just to name a few. And we really have game changed the industry with these amazing new ship classes like the Oasis class, the largest ships in the world, and even the Quantum class, which are beautiful ships. But you know, these innovative ships, we aren't just resting on the last 50 years, we are definitely forward thinking. And when we look at our future, it's very bright. And we have, of course, the odyssey of the seas when it comes to new ships coming. That's next November. We have the Oasis 5 in 2021, the Icon class, and the Icon class we know will not be quite as large as Oasis class, and probably similarly sized to the Quantum class ships. No details have been released yet on that one. The Oasis 6, believe it or not, six Oasis class ships, and then a second Icon class, and even a third Icon class, or third Icon class ship. So I don't know about y'all, but when I look at this slide, I think of job security for you, because we're going to need you now more than ever to fill these beautiful ships, and definitely job security for us here in the room. Right, Alexis and uh, Brittany? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, but you know what's great, y'all? We don't just focus on the new ships that we're building. We focus on the existing fleet because remember, we are a 26 ship fleet and counting. And we are really focused on a program called the Royal Amplified Program. And there's a way to our madness. We know with all these new ships coming and all the ships in our existing fleet that we need to help you attract new to cruise guests. 
So we're doing it with this program, and we researched traveling guests, not just cruisers, but guests that travel and for their holidays. And what do they want? They want iconic pool decks and attractions, bars and nightlife, and of course, pools and, and specially developed pool areas. So our answer to this, of course, is the Royal Amplified Ships and Amplification. Now we've done the Independence of the Seas, Mariner and Navigator of the Seas. Voyager and Oasis of the Seas will be done this year. And of course, our Oasis will be done this fall in November. Freedom and Explorer will be next year, and then the Allure in spring as well, and then the rest of the ships to follow. It's 10 in all, and it's really going to be close to a billion dollar investment. Let's take a look at the Oasis and the Allure and the exciting itineraries that they'll be doing. Remember, the Oasis gets amplified this fall, right after she finishes her Europe season. She'll be in Miami from... Um, November on till the spring, and we are so excited to share with you all that starting in May of 2020, she will sail out of New York City and Bayonne, our, our cruise terminal there. So for the first time ever, we'll have an Oasis class ship sailing out of New York. So if you all haven't taken your group space yet, you better get on that right away, and let's start thinking about our groups. And for those of you who may reside in the Northeast or sell a lot out of the Northeast, great new opportunity, because the Oasis and the Allure I'm going to show you just in a moment. It's going to have every single thing that you see on the symphony and harmony and more. And of course, the Allure will get her amplification next spring. And that will be before she um, starts her Europe itinerary. She'll end up back then in November. So let's have a look at some of the things you're actually going to get to see when you uh, see this. You're going to see that the family adventures are going to be um, amped up with the perfect storm water slides. We're going to have a music hall, which if you're familiar with our quantum, quantum class ship, you'll see that. We're going to have the great iconic pool decks, and even our dining is going to be affected. And just so you see here, you can see some of the different things that you're going to get that will be new to the Royal Amplified ships. And you'll get to enjoy things such as the Ultimate Abyss, Perfect Storm Water Slides, Splash Away Bay for the kids great redone adventure ocean and teen spaces and a lot more focus to new programming surrounding our kids and teens programs and we're going to be coming out to you with more details on that very soon you'll have laser tag the royal escape room which is the puzzle break room that music hall i just mentioned where we'll have a lot of great live music spotlight karaoke a dedicated karaoke space uh, the lime and coconut which is our three-story bar and um, fun area poolside and Bionic Bar, which we've come to know and love, and a brand new restaurant called Portside Barbecue, to name a few. Let's have a look, actually, and see what that looks like. Um, actually, let's jump to the Freedom of the Seas here. So Freedom of the Seas is actually getting amplified, and she is going to sail out of San Juan. She'll do seven night cruises to the Southern Caribbean, and we're really excited to share that you're gonna see great new updates on this ship, including onboard activities and the family areas being upgraded, as I just mentioned, that you'll see on the Oasis and the Allure. The Perfect Storm Water Slides, Laser Tag, the Adventure Ocean Upgrades and Team Spaces. You're also gonna see that Lime and Coconut, which I mentioned will be on the uh, Oasis and the Allure. You'll see the Splash Away Bay areas as well. And then when it comes to dining on the Freedom, you're gonna get lots of new and exciting spaces. Uh, Giovanni's Italian Kitchen, you'll have Playmaker Sports Bar, and I, know, I don't know about y'all, but with football season starting, I don't like to miss my football games, and now I know that all through the football season this year, not only will we have the college sports, but you'll also have the NFL being shown, and uh, if you're not enjoying Playmakers there with the uh, great burgers and chicken wings, you can have your sushi and uh, hibachi at Izumi. and then one of my favorites, if I'm not having those uh, wings and burgers in Playmakers, I like Mexican food, and the team here knows I love my beans. So you can get that in plentiful fashion at a Loco Fresh, and wash it down, of course, with a great margarita. Now, the Navigator of the Seas has already had her amplification, and she's currently sailing um, out of Miami, and she has Playmakers. She has two really cool water slides, the Blaster and Riptide, and you can see that these are shown here. Now, the blaster is where you ride on a raft, and it is the longest water slide suspended over a ship at sea. And then the riptide is great. It's a matte water slide where you go headfirst down the slide. So really fun spaces. 
Hooked Seafood is great. You get uh, Northeast cuisine. You get your shellfish, uh, oysters, which I happen to love, uh, and uh, really great cuisine there. And then Lime and Coconut, which is a great, a great, the great pool and uh, bar area uh, that we have that's three stories. Now, Mariner has been out for, gosh, a little over a year as well, and she has things like the sky pad, and of course, she has the escape room, the perfect storm water slides, the bamboo room, if you like specialty craft cocktails, you can enjoy them there, and laser tag as well. And she is sailing, of course, out of Port Canaveral and really wowing our guests there. Now, the independence of the sea, she's also been amplified already, and she has some of these same spaces we've been speaking about, but what I wanna mention and make sure you note on the independence is that she traditionally has gone in the wintertime, or sorry, in the summertime over to Europe. She will be staying year round and sailing out of Fort Lauderdale moving forward. So this is a great, she does a four, five, five itinerary. So really wonderful for those clients that maybe don't have a full week or wanna try cruising. Independence, independence of the seas will be a crowd pleaser. Now I'm gonna get into a little bit of itinerary discussion just to make sure you all are on top of everything for 20 and 21. And before you all start stressing out or grabbing your phones to snap pictures of the screen, I'm gonna tell you right now, all you have to do is listen in. We're gonna talk about things and then you can go to loyaltyyouallways.com forward slash deployment. You're gonna find all the details I'm gonna share here and even more. And that way you can now just listen and think about how you're gonna sell all your very important clients um, on their next Royal Caribbean cruise. So we're gonna start with the Oasis class takeover in the Caribbean. And I wanted to point this out because if we don't win with you all in the Oasis class sales, we can't win with you all, period. It's such big ships and it's such important cruising. And of course, we know our clients love Oasis class sailing. So the Oasis of the Seas will start in Miami, Allure will be in Fort, Lauder Fort Lauderdale. Then, I love this movement, you will see that the Oasis will move up to Cape Liberty and the Allure will sail over to Barcelona. Now, what doesn't change? Harmony of the Seas stays in Port Canaveral, and Symphony of the Seas stays, stays year-round in Miami. But after the season ends for our summer season next year, in the fall, you can see that the Allure will be back in Miami, and the Oasis will be up in Fort Lauderdale. So we're going to count on you. We're going to have the Oasis class takeover. And Brittany, which, which Oasis class ship is your favorite? Hmm. I'd have to say Symphony of the Seas, just because she's obviously our newest ship, um, but I'm a big fan of Hairspray, so that's kind of my, my favorite. There you go. Alexis, how about you? I have to agree with Symphony. I love Mexican food, and they have El Loco Fresh up on the top deck. A lot of fun. Yep. See, my, my, I, we are sisters in our love for our Mexican food there. So mm -hmm. really great opportunities with the Oasis class. We're counting on you, and we need you. But I wanted to show you the seasonal short Caribbean highlights. Y'all might say, we don't like to sell short, but our yields and the sales price on some of our short Caribbean cruises, especially those visiting Perfect Day at Coco Cay, they are sometimes getting close to what our seven-night Caribbean cruises cost, so you're going to make good commission, and you can also add a pre- or post-cruise adventure onto these and really introduce that new-to-cruise client beautifully on a shorter Caribbean cruise. So just some of the highlights, and remember, independence has been um, amplified. You've got the independence out of Fort Lauderdale, the enchantment of the seas out of Galveston, which is a new short Caribbean itinerary from Galveston, adventure doing four, four and five night cruises out of Galveston, and then the brilliance of the seas out of Tampa. So great, great sales opportunities for you there. And then there's our traditional three and four night cruises to the Bahamas. And what I love about these is these are perfect cruises to start a non-cruiser on to give them a sample of what cruising might be like. And with both of these ships, Mariner and Navigator, being amplified, they're getting a true taste of what World Caribbean cruising is like. And the piece de la resistance, of course, is that they stop at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And we know that right now, that is the number one port of call that Royal Caribbean visits. And remember, with 26 ships sailing around the world in six of the seven continents, I think it's pretty incredible and speaks volumes as to how Coco Cay is really a hot destination in and of itself. But speaking of hot destinations, New Orleans is phenomenal. And we will now, as of January, have the Majesty of the Seas sailing out of New Orleans, Louisiana. And she's going to have great, great opportunities. The prices are aggressive. If you haven't taken your group space yet, 
please do so because this is a true sales opportunity and it is a late in the game change because of course this ship was traditionally doing Cuba in the past. So we need your help here, we need your focus, and we have not traditionally had a ship sailing out of New Orleans. So great, great sales opportunity here. And you can see the itinerary here is seven night cruises. And then of course the Empress, which was also moved out of Cuba, is doing six and seven night Western Caribbean and eight night Eastern Caribbean cruises as well. So they're visiting Perfect Day at Coco Cay, you can see shown here. Make sure those clients know about those opportunities. And I'm gonna take a brief moment to give you just a quick update on Alaska, because we have a lot happening in Alaska for 2020. We have the Radiance of the Seas, which has been sailing in Alaska, doing our northbound and southbound glacier discovery cruises. They sail from Vancouver to Seward and back. And of course, when you have clients that want to enjoy a cruise tour, this is the ship that you'll be selling. Now, I want you all to think for just a brief moment when you're thinking about selling Alaska, I'm going to challenge you to do something. I want to challenge you to always ask the question, have you ever thought about adding some land onto your Alaska Caribbean cruise? Because when you get off the ship and you get onto the land, you're going to see things like um, uh, Denali National Park and Mount McKinley. You're going to traditionally see the bears. You're going to probably see moose and elk. You're going to really be able to see and experience Alaska with more glaciers and more true Alaskan experiences by adding that land on. So just keep that in mind, and I'm going to show you a slide that will get you even more excited in just a moment on our cruise tours for Alaska. But Ovation of the Seas is a crowd pleaser. She has just finished her, or just finishing her season, her first season out of Seattle. The Ovation of the Seas is purpose-built for cool weather sailing. I'll talk about that in just a moment. And she does seven-night glacier experiences. And then the Serenade of the Seas is back by popular demand. So for 2020, we have three ships sailing Alaska. Serenade of the Seas will do round trip or sail round trip Vancouver cruises and do seven night glacier experiences as well. So now you have three phenomenal choices, round trip Vancouver with the Serenade, Ovation out of Seattle, and then of course the Glacier Discovery um, North and South on cruises on Radiant. Now Ovation, a quick reminder if you don't all remember, she has a quantum class ship, she has a new ship, and she is really truly a purpose built ship for cool weather sailing. I bring that up because I want you all to think about the fact that most cruise lines take their ships that sail in the beautiful Caribbean and warm weather year during the off season, and then they move them to Alaska. And so while they're beautifully built, they're usually designed with more outdoor spaces and outdoor facing spaces for clients to enjoy. But the Ovation is actually built to keep you warm and have a lot of indoor spaces that still allow you to see out. Things like our C-Plex, which is this ginormous, I know that's not a good word, but I love it, a ginormous two-story uh, sports flex where they have bumper cars, uh, circus school, they have basketball. At night, there's a DJ booth that, that, that um, ascends over the, the actual space and creates a DJ booth over the floor for disco dancing. And disco dancing, that sounded really funny. Mm -hmm. But um, dancing and having fun and, 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 and nightlife for teens and tons of indoor spaces for your kids. So a great family ship. And you can see here the C-Plex is shown, the solarium, which is an indoor pool area. So again, you're up in Alaska watching the glaciers go by, and you can actually be enjoying the pool. It has the Bonnick Bar. And for those that are really brave, you can do the Flow Rider while it's a bit chilly. I'd probably want a wetsuit, mm -hmm. but uh, I think Brittany would be out there uh, showing her stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, Glacier Bay is back. And on some of our cruise tours, we're actually offering Glacier Bay National Park which is a real big win. And um, you'll have to study up on your cruise tour itineraries, but I will tell you, uh, we all know that everybody loves a visit to Glacier Bay and uh, really beautiful viewing there is allowed or, or able if you are to book a cruise tour with us. And remember, all of our cruise tours are fully escorted from beginning to end and a true first class experience. Serenade of the Seas, I mentioned, and uh, she is new back to Alaska for the first time in many years since uh, this coming summer in 2020. And just a reminder of the great spaces that she has, the solarium, she has great dining, wonderful entertainment, and the onboard activities that you've grown to know and love. And before I announce something very exciting, I wanted to remind you all, as we shift gears from Alaska to the Northeast, and I wanted to put this slide in just to give you all a quick reminder, there's so much change in the Northeast. 
between the Oasis of the Seas sailing, our first Oasis class, and then the Anthem, which will be moving to Europe for the first time in summer of 2020. That's a big change. Usually Anthem is year-round. Vision of the Seas, of course, will spend time there before doing some San Juan and Europe itineraries, and then fall foliage cruises, and then the Adventure of the Seas, which of course will do Canada, New England, and Bermuda, and then we have yet to announce um, the, 2019, or the 2019 spring release. That doesn't, that's an interesting mm -hmm. slide that I just caught a little typo on. So you could just forget that little part of that slide. But what I do want you to stay focused on is these four ships are doing things they've usually not done during that time of year. So really take note and where are you going to go back to? Loyaltoyouallways.com forward slash deployment to get the details. Now the allure of the seas, we've talked about her already. We've talked about her deployment and going to Europe after she gets her amplification. Great, great cruise itinerary. And we're really excited to have an amplified ship in Europe for the first time next summer sailing. So really great business opportunities there. But are y'all ready? Do we need a drum roll? Come, come, on, come on, drum roll, please. We're happy to announce, thank you ladies, that was really good backup. We have the Odyssey of the Seas. And we're so excited that for the first time ever, we will have a quantum class ship sailing out of Florida. She'll be home ported in Fort Lauderdale. She will come to us in November of 2020. She just opened her deployment and she'll be sailing eight night Southern Caribbean cruises, great itineraries, six night Western Caribbean and Perfect Day, stops at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, and then some seven night um, Eastern Western Caribbean itineraries, including Perfect Day as well. So again, this is the time you talk to your clients that like the new ships that want to try the first from Royal Caribbean. This is the time to get your group space blocked. This is that time to be thinking ahead. How do you want to promote our newest and most exciting ship at sea? Now, it all comes together. And to me, I love to wrap things with the mention of, or the discussion, I should say, about Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Y'all, we opened her in May. She did do beautifully through the hurricane. So she is up and running. She was open one week to the day from when the hurricane hit and uh, has, other than a little bit of sand erosion, which has already been completely uh, repaired, if you will, or fixed, she did beautifully. And this island, this is not an artist's rendering. This is what the island looks like. It is so bright, it is so cheery. And I know some of you, maybe on the call today, have already visited Coco Cay, but she is a spectacular island. And when you look at the aerial shot, you can see the magenta-colored spaces are more the thrill, or excitement areas on the island, and the blue uh, spaces are the chill areas. Now, I don't know about y'all, I like a little bit of both. I like to start my day with the thrills and end it with the chills. Alexis, how about you? I think I'm a thrill all the way through. Thrill all the way through, and Brittany? I'm gonna agree with Alexis on that Oh one. my gosh, you girls. <laughs> well, um, anyway, the, the beautiful thing is, is we just gave a great example of why there's something for everybody on this island. Whether it is the thrills or chills that you're looking for, or in my case, a combination of both, you're gonna find that on Coco Cay. And I will tell you, it is such a magnificent island. Starting with the chill side, the Oasis Lagoon is this phenomenal pool that is so large, you're never at a loss for finding a chair, an umbrella, and if you want a beverage, whether it's an adult beverage or just a refreshment, you can swim up to the bar or walk up to the bar, whichever is your preference. And great, great um, Pebble Tech pool where you walk in like a, a, an actual beach location on one end. And it's so large, there's never, feeling, there's never a feeling of a crowd when you're there. Now, the Cocoa Beach Club is yet to open. And that will be opening up in December of this year. And South Beach as well is coming soon in December. Now, when you see a little dollar sign, that actually explains that you do have to have a charge for entry or a charge for enjoying that experience. So I want you to rest assured that on the island, there are more spaces now than ever before that have no additional fees and, and plenty of places, places to enjoy if you don't want to upcharge or, or, or spend extra on the island. But I think you would be missing out if you didn't try Thrill Water Park. The water passes are day-long passes. They get you into the park as often and as long as you'd like. And the water slides are amazing. There are so many water slides to pick from. I believe it was 18 water slides and the tallest water slide in North America at 145 feet. It's Daredevil's Peak. And it is not for the faint of heart. I have done it. Alexis, I've done it as well. Brittany, I've done it too. we've all done it. And it is so much fun. You got to do it. 
I cannot even begin to express the squeals of delight that you will have. The wave pool is open for everyone, and it is super fun. I felt like I got my aerobic workout in because I like swimming against the waves. Um, Splash Away Bay for the families is a big win, and the zip line is super fun. You can actually zip line into the water or zip line on a land landing, depending on what your uh, adventure threshold is. And up and away is the helium tethered balloon. You go up to 450 feet into the air. When I was on perfect day, I was able actually to go the whole way up. Depending on the wind, sometimes they have to monitor that, but it's a beautiful view of not only perfect day, but the whole chain of islands in the area. And the captain's galleon is really fun as well. It's a kid's basically big ship with water and, and water fights can ensue. It's lots and lots of fun. In addition, we have Daredevil's Peak. I just talked about that slide. There's the Adventure Pool, the uh, uh, Splash Speedway, which is super fun, another water slide, the Green Mamba, the Wave Pool, and then the Slingshot Water Slide. I think it might be my favorite because mm -hmm. you're in a raft and you can usually put up to four people. And I will tell you, you literally fly off the slide as you fly up what you're seeing in the picture here in the lower right. And it is, your tummy drops and it is so much fun. So I will tell you, there is something for everyone at Thrill Water Park. It must not be missed. And our clients have told us that they love the water park so much that they actually wish they could just stay. So while we don't have anything to officially announce to you yet, we're looking at longer stays. We're looking at what we can do to en enhance our visits there. And the one way we knew we could do this early on is to have two visits on one cruise um, for a select number of cruises, you'll have two stops at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So watch for those itineraries. They'll be called out where there are essentially a double stop. You'll go to Coco Cay, you'll go to NASA, and back to Coco Cay. So lots of fun. They're on the short Caribbean itineraries. Be watching and look for those. There's a handful, and there's probably more to come. Now I'm going to shift gears a little bit and talk to you about how you enhance your guest experience when they sail with us. And I know many of you uh, love to take really good care of your clients and, and, and treat them with the greatest service. And that is what we need you to continue to do. But one of the best ways you can offer a service to them is encourage them to download the Royal Caribbean app. Because once they've downloaded it, they can enter all their information, they can scan their passport into the app, and they can actually do the check-in with their phone, just like many folks do today, for the airplanes in the airport, very few people print their boarding passes anymore. This allows you to actually scan onto the ship and use your electronic boarding pass, which also allows you to cut the lines. There will be no more lines that you'll wait in. It has a cruise planner, so you actually can learn and understand what goes on throughout the day right while you're on board the ship, and you don't need to be connected to the Wi-Fi for that. You can check your dining reservations if you've booked those. You can, as we talked about, do the mobile check-in, which I just explained, and you can also manage your onboard account. These are just a few of the many things that are available in the app. And what I wanted to show you here is a quick snapshot of all the ships and what each ship is equipped with and able to leverage with the Royal Caribbean app thus far. So it is important, and I know many of you all say, well, I, my clients don't like to use apps, so they, I wanna print their boarding passes. That's all great. But at the end of the day, I think we want our clients to have the best experience possible. And this allows them to really not only board the ship with ease, but experience the ship in a really informed and easy way. So I really want to encourage you all to be looking into the app, understand it, and encourage your clients to download that app for themselves. Now, I am so excited about our next cruise booking offer because a couple of months ago, we changed everything up. And you can book now or book later. And the beautiful thing is, is by booking now, of course, you get the best opportunity. Just a $100 deposit and up to a $600 onboard credit or $600 discount. But if your clients don't know when they want to sail or um, if they, like, let's say they have kids and they don't know when spring break is next year or they want to bring their family and they can't decide while they're on board, all they have to do is make the deposit of $200 on board the ship. They can do that up to three staterooms, right, ladies? Keep me real. I think it's up to yeah, three staterooms. Um, so if they have friends that they know want to come with them, and then you, their ever so important travel advisor, has up to two months to close the sale. Two months. Now, that's going to go quicker than you think. So what you need to do is, of course, you will get notifications. There's ways for you to look up in cruising power if you've got any of these pending um, clients that have booked and, and pending bookings. 
and you have two months to close that business with the full deal, the same deal that the clients get when they book on board. That's very rich, very exciting, and I really hope to see you all leverage that, especially as we get ready to go into WAVE. Now, speaking of WAVE, just preceding WAVE is our holiday sailings, or are our holiday sailings, I should say. And we're so excited to share with you that every single ship in the fleet celebrates the holidays, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate, Kwanzaa, all holidays are celebrated, all holidays are recognized. We light trees, we have holiday movies, we have fun, unique experiences for the kids that are driven around Christmas, and even elves. So super fun, very thematic, very decorative, and really something that if your clients have ever thought about it, they really should try uh, the Deck the Holidays uh, experience by sailing in December. Now, New Year's Eve, if you've never done it, have you ladies ever sailed on New Year's Eve? No, nope. I have. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. It is so much fun. You don't have to worry about where you're going to dine. You don't have to worry about traffic or Uber or, or making plans or where you're going to go because the entire ship is one big party. And you can have different types of experiences depending on what you want, whether it's casual or glamorous, super fun. And ladies and gentlemen, what do you think your commission does on a New Year's Eve or Christmas sailing? It goes through a little bit of an accelerated or higher commission scale payout because the Christmas and New Year's cruises are more expensive, but I will tell you the experience is worth it. Your commission will be well worth it, and this is the time to be promoting the holiday sailing. So for those of you who are Royal Caribbean experts, you probably have sailed and graduate sailed. You have probably uh, completed Royal Caribbean University, and it is our study program. You hopefully are masters of adventure. I know I am, and the ladies here with me are as well. We just turned two this year, and there's now leaderboards with all sorts of competitions and points, and if you haven't completed Royal Caribbean University, you can access it through Cruising Power, and it's a great, great way to bring yourself up to speed and be an expert on all things Royal Caribbean, and they're constantly adding new content to that site. Now, I said it earlier in the presentation, and I will remind you again, that loyaltoyouallways.com should be your one-stop shop for Royal Caribbean between that and cruising power. And I will tell you so much information, so many resources, all right there. You need no access, um, sign in, no codes or, or passwords, and you will get our current offers, product updates, marketing tools, deployment, all of that is housed there. And we go there with all our newest information. So make sure that you're bookmarking that or making it a favorite. Now, if y'all aren't getting Vicki's tips by now, I'm sure that you'll want to. You can actually sign up through Loyalty Always as well, um, forward slash Vicki. And um, great, great tips. They're, they're sometimes motivational, inspirational, and educational. And uh, we love that Vicki's Tips continues to wow and uh, delight all of our followers. Now, I am going to turn this piece over to Brittany because since we're selling, celebrating being 50, we wanted to do some really fun things, and we have some great giveaways, but Brittany's going to talk about what I think you all love, and that's commission, mm -hmm. and there's a bonus commission that actually just started, was it two days ago? Yep. Yes, and Brittany, take it away with the details on the bonus commission that you all can be earning right now. So we are about two weeks into Travel Agent Appreciation, so thank you all for your support of Royal Caribbean, and one thing that we wanted to do uh, that started on Monday um, and runs through September 23rd is a bonus commission offer. So this is for all sailings departing on or after October 16th. You can earn $25 bonus commission per every new booking. Um, and then if you book any Alaska sailings, you'll get an additional $25 bonus commission. Wow. So that's up to $50 if you book Alaska, $25 if for any other deployment. Um, you do have to enter a promo code APPRECIATE at the time of booking, um, but this is just a great extra incentive for you um, that goes through the 23rd for you to get um, some more guests on the book. I love it. I love it. Y'all, don't miss the boat, no pun intended. To take advantage of this. This is money in your pocket on top of the great commissions that we already pay. Listen, we always believe in partnering with you, and it's actually the perfect slide to talk about that because, you know, it starts with Vicki Freed, our phenomenal leader. And it transcends down. She, Joanne, myself, and the entire sales organization, we believe in partnering with you. We put you first. We know that we cannot succeed without you. And you all have been so gracious to give us and recognize us in so many categories of being award-winning. We're best in the Caribbean, best cruise line entertainment, 
best cruise line overall, best cruise ship with Harmony of the Seas, and we hope to have some more entering into that arena soon. But the one that I think is really near and dear to all of us, and it starts really with Vicki, it's her passion, is the best sales and service because we want to be the very best that we can be for you all. We want to be there to support. We have the largest sales organization in the industry. We have the largest national account team I'm proud to be a part of in the industry as well. And, and really, we want to be there to be by your side through your success and support you in gaining the best business opportunities and the best uh, sales results. And, and we want to do it with you. And this is one of the ways, the many ways that we show our appreciation with these things like our bonus commission. And with that, I just want to say we're excited about all that we have in 19 that's happening, but we really feel like the best is yet to come. So while we've had a great 50 years and we're celebrating this year, what I really get most excited about is all that we have in the future. We know that we're going to be working closely with you. We thank you, and we simply can't do it without you. So I think with that, Anna, it might be time for some questions. Perfect. We do have some questions coming in. I will get to them right now. Our first one is from, um, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Keisha. She's wondering if Coco K is handicap accessible and if there are activities for autistic children and adults. Okay, great question. And I can answer some and then I might lean on my, my, uh, my team here. But um, it is handicapped accessible. We have the um, sand wheelchairs. We have a lot of paths already um, built where it is completely usable with a traditional wheelchair. And any path or area that doesn't currently have a concrete or a path that, that's um, solid, it's being worked on. But either way, between the uh, sand wheelchairs and then all the paths that go throughout the island, it is very, very accessible throughout the island. And then I know you mentioned the question on the autistic program, and we are fully certified, and you know it's a great question because we do have the programming on the ship. I don't know if there are specific activities on Coco K, but I know that certainly the environment and surroundings are, are friendly for families and um, would certainly be friendly to that. But I don't think there's specific programming on the island. And ladies, do you have anything else that I, that's yeah, so for on Perfect Day, we actually have trams um, that can you take you me. from one side of the island to the other, and they are wheelchair accessible. So that makes it kind of easier for your guests to get from place to place. Yes, thank you for reminding me of that because I forgot, I, I hooked it around the island, but I forgot there are trams that take you throughout. And even for those that just don't want to walk, it's, it's convenient, and families as well. So that's a great question. Next question. Okay. Our next question is from Warren, who's wondering if there's an extra cost for the water park. Um, the extra cost, and Brittany, I don't, I, I don't know if you can pull that up really quickly. They fluctuate. They are revenue managed, so they do fluctuate a little bit, but they are full day passes. And while Brittany's kind of having a look at that, what I can tell you, and I encourage you all to do, is always go onto Cruise Planner or have your guests go to Cruise Planner. And oftentimes, they'll have those for sale, or they may have a sale on passes. But I think they usually range from about 60 to about 100. Is that right? Yeah, it, since it is dynamic, um, we've seen it ranging from about 80 to $100. So 80 to 100. A full day, yeah. Okay, yeah, and a full day pass. So 80 to 100. But if you go to a water park on land and you price it out, it's quite a good value. And all that can be found. Can they find that where, ladies? Um, loyal to you always. I think there's a whole um, landing spot for Coco, a whole landing yeah. page for Coco K and they have a lot of details on it there. Yeah, there's a good um, perfect day flyer with FAQs on the back. And um, just to clarify on here, we have a range um, and it's listing as a, uh, 44 to 99, um, depending on the sailing. So there you go. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from Elizabeth, who is wondering how many ships dock at Coco K in one day. So right now, um, well, not right now, always, there will be up to two. The dock can actually hold two ships at any one time. And I believe our intent would never be to have more than two ships there at any one time because technically we could tender, but that is not in the plan. It is to always have our ships pier side for convenience and, uh, and, and just the overall experience. We think it's a much better experience that the, the dock is game changing because you can have fun on the island, walk back to the ship, maybe take a nap, come back off, and, and enjoy the island more. And so we, we found that two will be the max at any one time. Okay, sounds good. 
And this next question, also from Elizabeth, it looks like she's going to be sailing on the Ovation in October. That's very exciting. I'm jealous. And she's wondering wow. if she'll be able to use the app on the Ovation. Uh, I believe they just added some functionality on the app, and I could actually go backwards, but um, we're gonna we're gonna check that really quick. But I know I, I'm 99% sure. Hang on, let's just do this. Let's see if I can do this without messing things up. Uh, let's see, my computer is not wanting to let me go backwards. But um, we're double checking that, so we'll come back to that question and confirm. But I do believe Ovation has some functionality. Um, we're looking. If you could, if you can see, it's the, the da, da 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 da. Anyway, let's Anna. Let's go on to the next question, and we'll come back to that question once we have the information. Sure. Uh, this next question is from Regina, who is wondering if guests can pre-book passes to the water parks at Coco Cay. Absolutely. In fact, we recommend it. And again, that can be done in the cruise planner, the pre-cruise planner, and that that shows up. Um, when you can go to Royal. Um, worldcaribbean.com and, and access it there. And uh, it's, it's suggested, in fact, it makes it much easier. You can also book your dinner reservations and all sorts of other activities through the cruise planner. Perfect, sounds easy enough. And our next question is from Dawn, who is wondering if there are going to be more ships that have online check-in. Um, they're working towards that. I mean, the goal and the end goal is to have all ships with online check-in, but it takes, time and technology transitions ship by ship to do that. So um, so the intention long term will be all of them and we're working as quickly as we can to continue to add ships literally on a monthly basis. Okay. Marsha is wondering if there are safe and fun activities at the water park for seniors. So 75, 65 years old. I love it. That's a great question. And I just smile because, you know, things like the wave pool, what's really great about the wave pool is it's a walk-in pool. So you can be in the shallow part of the wave pool and you're just getting a slight, you know, just kind of almost like what feels like uh, when you throw a rock and you see kind of the, you know, the, the um, ripple effect, it starts very gentle. And the deeper you go into the wave pool, obviously the more intense the waves become. become. So things like that, the, um, the pool, the big, uh, the big pool in the middle, um, is a beautiful pool that can be enjoyed and it's walk-in too. It's got a beach walk-in, so that's super comfortable. But there's plenty of things for those that don't want high adventure or high activity. The helium balloon would be another great example of something they could completely enjoy. It's no climbing, no steps, no anything. You literally walk onto what is the balloon um, cage, I guess, or whatever, basket for all, lack of a better way of saying it. That's what I think they call them. And um, so there would be a huge variety of things that, that someone who either wasn't that mobile or wasn't that interested in being high energy or high activity could enjoy. And then, of course, just sitting at the beach and enjoying the beach and snorkeling. Um, I, I'd say there's just as many activities for the less adventurous as there are for the highly active. Perfect. And I'm 26 and all those activities sound fun to me. So I'm sure there's I know, right? for everyone. Our next and then we, we do have, oops, oops, Anna, can we go back really quick about the ovation? We did get an update. Yeah. So, um, oh. fortunately, ovation has not switched over to our new Royal Caribbean app. It's still um, using our previous app, which was launched, um, I think, in 2015, which is called the Royal IQ app. Um, so, it does support Ovation of the Seas if you wanted to download that app um, for your sailing. Um, but hopefully in the future, it'll be moved over to our newer one. Yeah, and, and it will be. It's just a matter of the timing of it all. So so that that we can clean up that question. And I think that was for Elizabeth, if I'm not mistaken. And then what's the next question, Anna? It is from Sherry, who is wondering if there's any time dining. And she's also wondering if um, a group has sort of collective access to the app. I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm understanding exactly what you're saying, but the, for, for the my time dining or any time dining, yes, you can opt for that when you when you book or when you book your client. Um, so that's you know that's readily available by choice essentially. Okay. And, thank you. Okay. And and Alexis quietly said mm -hmm. there are guest to guest communications on the app, the Royal Caribbean app, where they can communicate amongst each other. And I think that's a fairly new addition, right? That's a fairly new uh, update to the app. So there is that guest-to-guest -guest communication. So that's fun. For a group, they can actually be com com communicate through the app. Okay, perfect. That is a great feature. I know, um, right? Cynthia is wondering, 
Uh, Cynthia is wondering if there's a limit to the number of tickets sold to the water park. There is a cap, but we have, as far as I know, there's, and, and I, I will tell you this with great honesty, because of the size of the island and the size of the park, they do have a, um, they actually use scan in and scan out of the park. And we have not had people that had to essentially wait to come into the park, if you will. So we've been able to manage the crowds and manage the flow because remember, well, you wouldn't know this. The ship is equipped to hold up to 10,000 guests at any one time. And I don't think we've had even close to that yet. Essentially, it could hold two Oasis class ships at the same time. And we don't have two Oasis class ships that go to the island at this point at any given time. So the island is overbuilt for what we're currently offering. So there's not been lines anywhere, really. Um, you book your times for your uh, helium balloon ride. And other than a, a handful of small lines for the water slides, the more popular ones, that's normal at any water park. So, but no real lines to get into the park itself. That sounds amazing. It is. Whoever was just getting ready to go, you're in for the, the time of your life. And if you haven't gone or you haven't made plans to go, y'all, jump on a weekend cruise. Jump on. There's travel agent rates. Jump on and come see Perfect Day because seeing is believing. It's so much more and so much even more thrilling than what we've talked about and shown on slides here. It's super fun. Okay, and it looks like Any we do have a few more questions. Um, sure. Cindy um, knows that you released the new cruise tour Alaska brochure and is wondering when the regular cruise brochures will be released. Ah. I think, if I'm not mistaken, very, not the travel, just the regular brochure. Oh, okay. Like, I think we just finished the print because what we had to do, y'all, with the, with the Cuba changes, we had to pull all of our current brochures out of essentially circulation. And I believe any moment now, next week, I was going to say, I knew it was any moment we were going to have the new one. So next week, they're scheduled to be available. So be going into cruising power and then going into, um, in the market area and brochures, you'll be able to find and order your brochures. You don't need to wait. You can just go right online and order what you want, and they'll send them next week. Okay. So I'm sure everyone will be waiting for those. And our, oh, last yeah. question is from, our last question is from Warren, who is wondering if um, people in suites have to pay to go to the water park. They do. They do. They, it's not something that is complimentary um, for the suite. Okay, perfect. And that wraps up questions. Thank you, Lori, Alexis, and Brittany. Thank you so much for all the information. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Oh, my gosh. Well, listen, thank you all so much. And good selling out there. We appreciate you all. And uh, can't wait to have a wrap-up of 19 really big and, and a big success in 2020. Thanks for all you do. Bye. Bye-bye.